catch your eye like a bigger pizza pie. That's amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's amore. When the moon hits your eye like a bigger pizza pie, that's amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's amore. Bells will ring, jingle, ling, ling, jingle, ling, 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 and you'll sing the tabella. Hey guys, it's been a while since we spoke. Probably uh, the last time was at the end of my gamma knife surgery, that was in May. So how are things going? Not good. Um, I'll get straight to it. I had my MRI scan done on, in October and I got the results this past Friday and it's not good. Essentially, the doctor said that I have a leptomeningeal tumor which is pretty much the worst case scenario it's almost always terminal there's not much they can do to stop it the best they can do is slow it down for a couple of months I'm not sure what that means in terms of you know uh, how long I have left but it doesn't sound good so yeah that's it Everything else seems to be working. The drugs in my body seem to be working fine. The gamma knife surgery was effective in, in taking care of those 47 tumors in my head. But there's this one tumor, the leptomeningeal tumor, which has evaded any uh, treatment. And within the last three months, it showed up in the scan. So it, Apparently, it's pretty uh, aggressive. Anyway, so what are the options? We're going to have to do either whole brain radiation, which is, you know, got the worst side effects, but it's the most aggressive treatment. But it can cause fatigue, especially in someone who's had whole brain radiation before. Or we can do more gamma knife uh, surgery on the on the new tumor, but gamma knife isn't very effective on these types of tumors because it's going to inevitably miss some and it will grow back. So the best they can do is buy me some extra time. But you know, no one's actually said listen and the, no one's actually used that you're gonna die in a couple of months you got a couple of months to live yet they've just been more like um, there's nothing we can really do to stop it we'll keep checking to see if there's anything out there we'll talk to the oncologists and see if they have any drug therapies that can work but um, I'm scared I, I don't think I think we're at the end of the line and it's really scaring me. We we told the girls on the Saturday morning and they cried a lot when I told them that there's a chance that daddy could die from this because before they knew daddy had cancer but we always thought that I'd have enough time, you know, they, they'd find some treatment to keep me going. This time it doesn't seem that way. But, so it's really tough. I'm going to, of course, keep fighting. And of course I'm going to do the whole brain radiation, even if it's more aggressive. You know, I'm, I'm going to do whatever it takes to keep going. So thanks a lot for being there for me for the last year. Since It's funny, it's been exactly a year since they diagnosed the brain tumors in my head and now exactly one year later there's another tumor that comes along that wants to take me out <laughs> so that's it that's the update um, things have been rough for the last couple of days uh, I've been really sad <sighs> I don't know what to do I'm just I have uh, radiation starting next week 
at Sunnybrook on Halloween and that's 10 sessions so 10 days I'll be there it's going to be tough because all of the appointments are later in the day so getting there with traffic and getting home in time to get the girls and the logistics of that you know Stephanie has worked out a nice schedule so a lot of people have offered to help so we we're grateful for that um, that's about it these tumors suck they like to they grow between the brain sac and the skull so the sac that holds the brain and the skull that's where it grows in between there and it pretty much grows unimpeded and that's why you know it spreads so easily hopefully they can figure out a treatment but I'm not holding my breath but I'm here now and that's all that matters and a lot of things I wanted to do I wanted to see my girls grow up I wanted to see my girls go my little one go to elementary uh, junior kindergarten I really wanted that next year to see that so I really hope I can be around to see that and I wanted to see them walk down the aisle in a decade or two that I'm really sad that I may miss all of those things but I'm here now so let's make the best of it so that's it that's pretty much all of the update um, anyone want to drop me a line anytime you want to go hang out have lunch let me know I'm up for it I'm not working so might as well all right until next time peace Don't worry.